Don't mind my frizzy hair, but I had a subscriber send me diamond painting and I've never done it before. And I decided to open it. So this is like the page. And these are all the diamonds. Oh my God. The little pen that you put your diamond on to put on the paper. And then you have your diamonds in here. I know that much. There's a random square. I don't really know what to do with that. Um, there's a small bit of instructions to read. So I'm going to read those. I'm excited to give this a go. So the first step. So I have to like take off some of this like clear part. Should I start up top? Oh my gosh. I don't know. This is like the perfect size too. I've seen some massive ones online, but this is a really good size for a beginner. So to the person who sent me this, thank you. I'm gonna start it right now and tell you guys what I think. Okay, update. I read the instructions and I'm watch also watching a YouTube video. <laughs> diamond painting for beginners. And I have a little diamond on my thing, finally. Yes, I do. As you can see there, um, this little thing you have to Ugh, the holes of it kind of creeps me out, but that's okay. So I'm about to place my first, oh, we're blurry. I'm about to uh, place my first little thing. Here we go. Here we go. Why was that so satisfying? Oh my God, let me do another. All right, so I'm going to take a little piece. All right, here we go. Bam. Wait, let's push her up a little bit there we go <gasps> wow this is fun you guys i am having way too much fun with this like this is oh my god so relaxing fun and therapeutic and the reason why i've never done this before is because i've only ever seen it like online or uh pictures and like videos and stuff like that and it's just like okay cool like it's a bunch of little dot moments but seeing it in person it's like i don't know it just looks so different and it's so fun it looks beautiful honestly i recommend this to anyone who likes to do um tedious things that are like relaxing and fun and beautiful and just calming like this i think the person who gave this to me thank you so much because i honestly i wanted to eat and there's no reason for it i don't need to eat i'm not hungry i just wanted to eat for the funsies of it and so i was trying to find something to do and it's like i worked on my lego last night so i wanted to do something different tonight and then i was like oh wait so thank you all right you guys we have a grocery haul um i decided to use prime to deliver my food from whole foods I've actually never done it before. Um, I watch quite a few vloggers who actually use this. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. So let's do a haul. I like how it's in bags and not plastic. I love that. Oh my God. And the meat is like bagged like this. Wait, this might be my like go-to. I might start doing this more often. Um, this is shrimp and cocktail sauce. It's just like a little individual one that Feline and I are gonna share. Wait, I love how this meat is bagged because I am weird about meat. If you know me, you know that. I got some ground turkey. This is 93% lean. We got some chicken wings because Feline, uh, she knows what's up. And she does keep the skin on, which is fine. But eventually, um, we're gonna need to figure out a skin removal situation. <laughs> Just, you know, to get into the swing of things, to start eating a little bit better, but changing habits slowly is the best idea. We also got some fresh young chicken. That's literally what it says. <laughs> it's just some uh, chicken breasts. Next bag. I got a huge thing of broccoli because we're constantly eating broccoli. So I feel like this could last us for quite a few meals. So we usually get fresh. I mean, this is fresh, just bagged. It's fine. I got a big thing of bell peppers because you could do stuffed bell peppers, which I've been wanting to try or just like saute them. 
got some carrot sticks because Colleen wanted carrots and hummus, which sounds so good. So I got roasted garlic because we know we like that. But then I also got jalapeno hummus for us to try. We both are obsessed with jalapenos, so I'm excited to try that. Got some strawberries. Ooh, the bag almost fell. Um, got some grapes and some more grapes, just like two packs. Third bag. So I got some steamed brown rice. This actually goes in the freezer, keep frozen. Because if I plan on having carbs, um, I need to focus more on healthier carbs. So like whole grains, brown rice, whole wheat. Fourth bag here. We have two things of romaine salad, just to make some salads. A thing of scallions, because we put scallions on like everything because it just adds such good flavor. A massive thing of pineapple. Oh my God, that looks so good. I'm about to eat some of that. And then a massive thing of watermelon. The fact that this is only $10 is shocking. It's actually really big. I don't even know if you guys can tell, but this is massive. Last bag, which is the fifth one. Um, I got some of this Calm Magnesium Supplement. This like calms you at night if you need help sleeping, which is literally me. Got some creamy um, peanut butter because we want peanut butter with apples. And in my opinion and Flane's opinion, uh, Granny Smith apples are more like sour. So they taste better with peanut butter versus like regular red apples so that is everything we got so I just made homemade stuffed bell peppers which I have never ever done before and I will film a recipe eventually because I feel like by based on how it looks and smells I'm gonna love it and if I do love it I want to keep a few recipes in rotation just so it's easier for me um, so I will film a recipe. Yes, I will. But look how delish. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Y'all, it was so good. Feline loved it, and so do I. 10 out of 10. I will definitely film a recipe. Okay, I'm about to do a taste test of the jalapeno hummus. Feline already tried it. She said it's really good. See, she had some already. I don't really care for how it smells. I don't think that hummus in general smells good, so... And I just got the carrot sticks here. Alrighty. I see a little like greenery, which messes with you because it makes you think that like, oh my God, this is hummus that has mold in it, but it's just like the jalapenos, so. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. See? I did that this morning, just two tablespoons of hummus with some carrots, and then two tablespoons of peanut butter with some apples. It was good. It was? It was really good. I'm double dipping in the container. <gasps> double dipping? It's just me and her. <laughs> Ooh, the perfect amount of spice. Mm -hmm. It hits you at the end. Wait, this is bomb. Okay, you guys, so I finally got in the mail my diamond painting that I bought for myself. Um, I got one for me and one for Feline. This is what it looks like. It is the Starry Night, I think. Pretty sure that's the one I ended up going with. Wow, this whole vlog, I have not worn makeup at all. I hate looking at myself without makeup. So let's open it and see what uh, she looks like. I'm actually currently editing a vlog because I need to get that up today. I'm trying to open this box with respect. Usually I just rip, tear, yank, you know. I'm pretty sure it's Starry Night, folks. So I have a Starry Night Lego and now a Starry Night diamond painting and I'm not mad about it. Do I want to open her up right now? Well, I'll just open up a piece. See? Oh my God, this is gonna be so much fun. So Feline started diamond painting yesterday. And at first she was like, eh, I'm not sure I'm gonna like it. Y'all, 
the minute she stuck a piece down. She diamond painted the whole day. Cause don't she put me on blast like that, baby. <laughs> it was her day off. And that's how she spent it. So we were diamond painting like two old people. <laughs> we're an old couple. Um, it was so fun though. This is how much I have gotten done. Look at all that like shimmer glitter glitter. Um, it's more than halfway done. I'm obsessed. It is so relaxing. Um, it has helped a lot with like... Uh, choosing not to eat when I really really want to like just eat for the funsies of it and yeah it's just helped me a lot and it's so calming and relaxing so I don't know if anyone else is following the Idaho murderers uh, the Brian Koberger horrible thing that happened but I I wouldn't say I'm obsessed, but I do follow along. Like, I follow forums, I watch YouTube videos about it, and uh, the news, etc., etc. And I'm not one to, like, remember my dreams. And if I do remember my dreams, it's because they were weird or because they, like, really scared me. And I'm not one to really have nightmares. But last night, it was so scary. And it's made me realize that I need to maybe, like, take a step back from like being so uh, like just constantly looking up if there's anything new about it or whatever and because I had a dream that well Brian was in my dream and it was scary it was gruesome and I just feel like if there's anything in your life causing you to have nightmares it's time for you to maybe um, take that thing and kind of throw it in the trash like, I still want to be aware and know what's happening with that case because I feel like it's important and it's just really heartbreaking, honestly. Um, there are other cases that I'm following, but not as much as this one. And I think I just need to tune it back a little bit because I can't stop thinking about it. I'm literally just editing my video and I'm editing something, like, funny and fun. Like, I'm opening um, gifts from you guys and it's, like, all I can think about is, like, flashbacks of that nightmare I had last night. So something I've been loving to do is making like a little mini charcuterie board that isn't really a charcuterie board. I'm also going to be having the string cheese. I forgot to put that on there, but we have grapes, watermelon, pineapple, green olives, some shrimp with a little bit of cocktail sauce. I really like this because sometimes I'm craving salty and sometimes I'm craving sweet and sometimes I'm craving both. So this helps. I'm weird about shrimp. Like I really am. The texture... Not the greatest, but I like the taste, so I eat it in small quantities. So good. I will say that cocktail shrimp, like this, the texture is the best out of any texture shrimp that I've ever had. And I really like the string cheese because it's like a twirl kind, so. <laughs> Does it like this? Like all around instead of just like straight down. And I've been loving fruit because I told myself I was not going to have any more like processed sweet junk. Cookies, uh, candy, ice creams. Yes, here and there I can have that in moderation but it's just the guilt I feel afterwards is pretty intense so. I have zero fruit guilt though. So good. I'm not sure if I touched on this in my weight loss video or not, but like my weigh-in video. But like the way that like Dr. Now on 600 pound life makes people lose weight, like 1200 calories, you can't even have fruit. Like it's, it's crazy. Because it's not realistic. Fruit does good things for you. And during my bariatric weight loss surgery education class, that's what they taught. They said, we're not going to have you stop eating fruit. We want you to eat fruit. I just feel like a lot of people have like misconceptions of like how weight loss surgery like really goes. Um, versus like 
what they show on 600 pound life because 600 pound life is very very popular and a lot of people take what happens on there and they think that's what really happens with like every single weight loss program and that's just not realistic and not how it is i don't know guys i just feel good lately um i have been sitting with discomfort so something i've been doing is when i feel like i need to eat something it's like i've noticed lately i don't think i have binge eating disorder issues i think that i just massively like to eat like just all the time because i'm addicted and it's like it's so weird for me to be like truly like becoming aware of my actual issues now so like when i feel myself having that sensation of like a binge it's not a, sen a sensation to binge it's simply a sensation to eat and it's it's out of boredom it's out of emotional sadness and what i do now is i sit with the discomfort i have cried because if i'm choosing to eat for any other reason other than hunger and nourishing my body then i'm gonna have to sit with that discomfort and accept it for what it is and stepping hard terribly hard i've cried feeling that discomfort and what i do is i tell alexa i don't want to say it because i don't want her to go off i say alexa, can you set the alarm for an hour from now and if i can get through that hour um if i feel in that hour once the alarm goes off if i feel that i'm actually hungry and it's not just boredom or emotional eating or just the food addict in me then i allow myself to eat if it's none of those things if it's true hunger and that is something i'm actually teaching myself because i'm just so used to just like eating for no reason just because i want to because it's fun chewing's fun smelling the food's fun like just having it in front of my face is fun ordering takeout's fun the anticipation of it coming is fun like it's so dumb and that's the addict side of me and it's like with this program they're aware that majority of the people who try to get weight loss surgery are people who are addicted to food because it's like why else are you you know super morbidly obese and they're very well aware of like transfer addiction they talked a bit about that they touched on that actually and i don't know i just uh I'm sitting with a discomfort and I think what's really helping me is my brother. I'm thinking about him and how he is sober now and he's going on a month sober. How hard that is for him. If he can sit with the discomfort, so can I. So this meal that I'm eating, my little charcuterie board that I showed you guys. I wanted it two hours ago. I wasn't hungry. I just wanted food because that's just me. I want food. Certain things trigger me to want food and something triggered me to want food. And I told myself no. So I set the alarm and I set it for an hour. And when the alarm went off, I realized I wasn't hungry. I wasn't, I just wanted food, it was stupid. So I waited till I was hungry and that was an hour later so it was two hours now it's been two hours since the urge to eat for no reason um learning to sit with that discomfort and then knowing that it does pass because the discomfort doesn't last long and i have to keep telling myself that oh i kind of just got the goosebumps because it's powerful if you can sit with that discomfort for three minutes that's all it takes and then it goes away and if you guys know that feeling if you struggle with what i'm struggling with and you know exactly what i'm talking about just know that like time passes regardless regardless time passes and feeling that discomfort it's called discomfort for a reason it's not comfortable it's almost painful it's almost painful it goes away and every time that you look discomfort in the face and you say bitch I got this. I'm gonna win. You get stronger. I know you do. And I just feel so much better already. Just the way that I feel like willpower, it's a topic. And people always ask me, 
Why are you changing now? What makes you think now? I think of my mom. She got sober a million times over before she finally said, this is the last time I'm trying. And that goes for anybody that has lost weight, hundreds of pounds. It's like you try over and over and over and over and over again. And then it's finally that one time. And it just clicks and something happens.